Okay, welcome to the first installment of how to make cocktails that you absolutely should be drinking. Uh, today, to kick this off, we're going to start off with the official James Bond martini, as written by Ian Fleming in the very first James Bond novel, Casino Royale. For this, we will need Gordon's London Dry Gin, that's specifically mentioned, an unspecified vodka, and the secret ingredient, Lillet, which is an aperitif that has sort of a champagne wine sort of taste to it. All right, as with any good martini, you're gonna start off by chilling the glass. So, we're gonna grab some water, some ice. And if you have a dog like I have, whenever you open the freezer and get ice, he's gotta get one, so. Most of the ice keeps going in the glass, one goes to the dog. Add a little cold water to that and let that just sit there and get chilled nicely. Now, for the recipe, we need three measures of the Gordon's Dry Gin. You can use, obviously, whatever measure you want to use, but I'm going to use a little shot glass here. So that's one. That's two. And that's three. All right. Now on to the vodka. Ian doesn't specify which vodka he wants. He just says one measure. That's one measure of vodka. I'm going to use for today the three olives, which if you've never had it is actually a very good vodka at a very inexpensive price. So in deference to my Jewish heritage, I'm going to make an inexpensive version of this drink. All right, that's one measure of vodka. And now on to the lillet, of which, as you can see by the bottle, should be served well chilled. And we need a half a measure of that. By the way, it's probably not necessary that you make this drink to the sounds of rock pile like I am. I'm guessing since rock pile, you know, was not a band at the time Ian was writing, he would have never heard of them. But my belief is if he had heard of them, he would have been listening to them as well. All right, now we need more ice for the shaker. And once again, the ice cube noise brings the dog. Here you go, boy. So one ice cube for the dog, the rest go in the shaker. And as you know, the James Bond martini is shaken, not stirred. Shake it up. I like to get mine shaken really nice so that actually you get little chips of ice floating on the top of the drink. Now, at this point, if you were my nephew Ryan, you would start trying to pour this into the glass while the water and ice are still in there. That would be a mistake. The idea of the water was just to chill the glass, dump that out, pour in the drink, and then we add a twist of lemon, which I had cut before we started this so as not to make this the most boring video known to mankind. And there you have it. The official James Bond martini, also referred to in the book as the Vesper martini. So cheers and enjoy. Tune in next go around to see how to make the perfect Maker's Mark Manhattan.